Up to this point in the series, we've been only discussing linear regression where there's only one input variable. In that case, we want to find the best fit line in 2D space. Stepping up one dimension, in the case where we have two input variables and one output variable, the linear relationship will look like y equals an offset plus beta 1 times x1 plus beta 2 times x2. Now that we have three coefficients, how do we solve for them? Well, my friend, this is where the idea of the normal equations come in. The normal equation is our formula for solving any kind of regression problem, and I visualized it in my last video. When we have two input variables x1 and x2, our vector b will store the three unknown coefficients in our linear equation. The output y is still a vector. Our data matrix x has three columns. Each column of x represents all of the data for one input variable except for the first column, which consists of all 1s, no multipliers for the constant offset beta naught. On the other hand, each row of the matrix represents one single sample of our data. If we have n samples, then there will be n rows in the data matrix. As before, we solve for the best vector b using the equation b equals x transpose x inverse times x transpose times y. In this case, after we solve for the coefficient vector, we can visualize the three coefficients by plotting all of the data points in 3D space and their linear relationship as the best fit plane for all of the points. Of course, we can add as many predictor variables as we want to our problem, and the method still applies. We can also adapt this method to do some other interesting things. For example, when there is only one input variable, we can find out the best quadratic equation, the best parabola that fits all of our data. The trick is to put the square of each x-coordinate into the third column of our data matrix. This essentially makes x squared a second independent variable apart from x itself. Then we could solve for the normal equations as usual. This regression model is very powerful and is used everywhere in statistics and engineering. Generally speaking, whenever you are trying to fit some kind of curve into a bunch of points, you can apply this model. For example, given the population of the United States, we can find the exponential function that best fits all of these points by turning the problem into a linear regression problem with parameters given by the logarithm of a and the logarithm of b. OK, by now we've seen how to compute the coefficients in any sort of regression problem. And next, we are arriving at a transition in the series. From describing to deriving. Why does this formula work? How is it actually derived? Looking back at chapter 1, when I explained the formula for simple linear regression, if we somehow recenter the entire plot so that the centroid of all data points lies exactly on the origin, then x bar and y bar will both be zero, and the equation reduces to this form. This looks suspiciously familiar, doesn't it? If we put all of the x's and y's into vectors, these sums are just like taking dot products. In fact, rewriting the equation we see that this is the normal equation in its one-dimensional form. Since we've shifted our data, the regression line is guaranteed to go to the origin, so we don't need to worry about the offset beta naught. We have only one degree of freedom, the slope, and our data matrix x is just a column vector. Anyway, to understand why the normal equations give us the best solution to our coefficients, we will need to talk about two things least squares, and projection. That being said, I will see you next time.